<coughs> excuse me. Hello, this is Tanya with TK Sewing Machine and Repair, and today I am uh, demonstrating this really pretty uh, red uh, Singer 15 that I repainted, put new decals on. Uh, it has the RAF uh, decals on it. Uh, it was not an original RAF machine, but I redecaled it like this because I wanted to. <laughs> so, um, this machine is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, you can see all of the paint, even a uh, Singer light that has been repainted and it just sews like a dream it tuned in really really easy um, so we're going to start with a straight stitch um, so your bobbin winder is right here so this bobbin winder works just a little bit differently than it would with a um, the typical one like this and it's only because I had to rebuild it. So you put it down about this far and it hooks on to the bobbin and then you can wind your bobbin. But it still works. Let me bring it up. There we go. So um, we're going to do a straight stitch and here we go. see how free this machine is. It just keeps going after uh, you release the power. But 15s are known for being a very strong machine and can handle um, working with denim and canvas, fabrics like that, and even uh, garment leather. nice sharp corners both front and back that's what you like to see this is your reverse right here really nice low machine so let's go ahead and try it with some leather. So there are the uh, top stitches and there are the bottom stitches. Really nice. So let me get this little piece of leather over here. And I don't have the leather needle in the machine right now, but we're just going to start off with two layers because I know it can sew one. Let's see if we can get it to sew two. Yeah, it's sewed too. The bottom stitch looks good. Let's see if we can get it to sew three. I think I am going to tighten up the motor belt. Just a hair, because I was hearing a little bit of slippage when I was so. 
There, that's much better. No belt slippage. So that's three layers of leather um, with, and this is not a leather needle, and the bottom stitches look amazing on it. It's hard to tell which stitch line is the one I was working with because I used this sample over and over again, but uh, the red right here and then the orange on the bottom. So if this lovely machine ends up in your collection, I hope you thoroughly enjoy it.